In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to neglect our mental well-being. As we navigate the highs and lows of life, our mental health often takes a back seat. But just like our physical health, it's essential to keep our mental health in check. It's a vital part of our overall wellness. And neglecting it can have serious repercussions. So let's pause, take a breath, and focus on what truly matters. Today, we're tackling some of the biggest myths surrounding mental health. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, one in four people will experience a mental health issue in their lifetime? Now that's a rather eye-opening statistic, isn't it? Yet there's a prevailing myth that mental health issues are rare, something that only happens to other people, not us, not our friends or family. But the reality couldn't be more different. Mental health issues, just like physical health issues, are a part of the human experience. They don't discriminate, they don't pick and choose, they can affect anyone at any time. Imagine a room filled with four people. According to the World Health Organization, at least one of them will experience a mental health issue at some point. That's not rare, that's not other people. That's us. That's our family, our friends, our co-workers. So, why do we believe this myth? Why do we think mental health issues are rare? Perhaps it's because we don't talk about it enough. Maybe it's because we often hide our struggles, put on a brave face and pretend everything's okay. But it's high time we change that narrative. Mental health issues aren't something to be ashamed of. They're not a sign of weakness, but a sign of being human. And the more we talk about it, the more we normalize it, the easier it becomes for everyone to seek help when they need it. That means mental health challenges are more common than you might think. Mental health can affect anyone, regardless of background, strength, or intelligence. You see, our mental health is just as susceptible to illness as our physical health. Much like catching a cold or breaking a bone, mental health issues can affect anyone at any point. They're not exclusive to any particular group of people, and they certainly don't discriminate based on strength or intelligence. A commonly held myth is that mental health issues are a sign of weakness. This is a notion that has been ingrained in our society over the years, painting a picture of mental illness as something that only affects the weak. But let's debunk this myth right here, right now. Mental health issues are not, and I repeat, not a reflection of a person's strength or weakness. Think about it this way. When someone catches a cold, do we view them as weak? No, because we understand that it's a common illness that can affect anyone. The same should be true for mental health issues. They're a part of the human experience and they can touch anyone's life, regardless of how strong or intelligent they might be. Mental health issues are not a failure or a flaw. They're not something that you can just snap out of or overcome through sheer willpower. And most importantly, they're not a sign of weakness. They're simply a sign that you're human. And like all humans, you may need help and support at times. So let's put this myth to bed once and for all. It's not a sign of weakness, but a sign that you're human. Talking about your mental health is one of the bravest things you can do. This statement is our clarion call as we debunk myth number three, that there's no point in talking about mental health. This myth is a particularly dangerous one as it promotes silence and isolation, two things that can intensify the struggles associated with mental health issues. It's crucial to understand that discussing mental health is far from pointless. Let's think of it this way. If you were feeling physically unwell, you'd likely tell someone about it, right? You might even visit a doctor. The same should hold true for your mental health. Discussing your feelings, worries and experiences can be incredibly therapeutic. It's an opportunity to gain perspective, to feel heard and understood. It's a chance to realize that you're not alone in your struggles, yet this myth persists, often fueled by fear of judgment or misunderstanding. But remember, it's okay to feel what you're feeling. It's okay to share those feelings with others. Talking about mental health helps to break down the stigma surrounding it. It encourages understanding, compassion, and empathy. It opens the door to support and healing, and it can even save lives. So let's bust this myth wide open. Whether it's with a trusted friend, a family member, a mental health professional, or even an online community, talking about your mental health matters. Remember, it can be incredibly freeing and help you connect with a community who understands. Here are some ways to prioritize your mental well-being. Firstly, let's talk about self-care. Self-care is an essential part of maintaining good mental health. It involves taking time to do things that make you feel good, that relax you, that bring you joy. 
This could be anything from taking a relaxing bath to going for a nature walk, or even just listening to your favorite calming music. The key here is to find what works for you. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's a necessary part of maintaining your mental health. Secondly, it's important to connect with others. This can be a daunting prospect, especially if you're feeling down or anxious, but it's a crucial part of your support system. You don't have to face your struggles alone. Talk to a friend, a family member, or a therapist. Join an online support group. Share your thoughts and feelings with people who understand, who can provide empathy, advice, or just a listening ear. You'd be surprised how much it can help to simply talk about what you're going through. And finally, don't be afraid to explore resources. There are a myriad of resources available to you, no matter where you are or what you're going through. There are helplines you can call, websites full of useful information and advice, and even apps designed to help you manage your mental health. There are resources available to help you learn more about your mental health, to guide you through mindfulness exercises, to connect you with professionals, and so much more. Don't hesitate to reach out and make use of these resources. They're there for a reason. And remember, you are not alone. One in four people will experience a mental health issue in their lifetime. That's a staggering number. But it also means that there are millions of people out there who understand what you're going through. There are people who have been in your shoes and have come out the other side. There are people who want to help you, to support you, to see you thrive. Reaching out for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. It takes courage to admit that you're struggling to ask for help, to face your mental health head on. But when you do, you'll find a community ready and waiting to support you. You'll find resources designed to help you navigate your journey. And most importantly, you'll find that you're capable of more than you ever thought possible. So prioritize your mental well-being, practice self-care, connect with others, explore resources, and always, always remember you're not alone. Reaching out for help is a sign of strength. You are not alone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what other mental health topics you'd like to see covered. Your interaction fuels our motivation and it helps us create content that is beneficial to you and others who may be navigating similar experiences. Busting myths surrounding mental health is a continuous effort. It's a journey that we're all on together and every step we take towards understanding is a step towards acceptance and compassion. Your willingness to learn and engage shows us that the world is ready for change, ready to break free from the stigmas that have held us back for so long. We want you to know that this channel is not just a place for learning, but also a safe space for discussions, for sharing experiences, for fostering empathy. We believe that change begins with conversation, and every comment, every shared story, every question asked, contributes to this larger dialogue that we're fostering. So, what's next? What other myths have you heard that you'd like us to address? What are some mental health topics that you feel need more awareness? Let us know. We're here to listen, to learn, and to grow with you. In the meantime, while we work on our next video, we encourage you to continue your own journey of learning and understanding. Remember, it's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to seek help. Never forget that you are not alone in this. There are resources, communities, and people ready to lend a hand, to lend an ear. Reach out when you need to. Reach in when you can. Remember to take care of yourselves. Prioritize your mental well-being. Show yourself the same kindness and patience you'd show to others. You deserve it. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us. We're grateful for your support, your openness, and your resilience. Stay strong, stay compassionate, stay curious, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time.